Hello Capricorn, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your money and career check-in. All right, so we're going to get started with the Wisdom of Doubt Oracle cards and then I'll go into some tarot. All right, what do we have for Capricorn? Check your other signs too, Capricorn. There could be additional messages there for you. Okay, so you have Surrender. Okay, this says, this is a moment of awakening and relief. I like that. It is done. Step back to see the big picture. Instead of fighting a battle you cannot win, stop struggling. Concede and preserve your energy for your next strategic plan of attack. Winning is ahead. Awesome. Either you got this card before, like not too long ago, Capricorn, or something very similar. All right, so we're going to go over to the Gilded Tarot. If you're interested in any of these decks, by the way, they are listed below. All right, wow, you got the Ace of Cups. Love it. New beginning. Um, big abundance here in, in all ways. Like whatever you see as abundance, that energy is coming in for you. Love, money, health. Um, you know, happiness, um, you know, good things for others who mean a lot to you. Okay. Ace of cups. There's a, a gift coming in an offer. There's an offer. All right. What else do we have for Capricorn? Whoa. Okay. Awesome. The six of wands of victory recognition, people cheering you on. People have your back. Okay. Spirit has your back too, but people have your back. They're cheering you on Capricorn. I like that. So you have reached a level of success in some way and others are really happy for you and have your back and they're like, let's see what else Capricorn can do. Keep going. All right. One more for Capricorn and then I'll clarify. Okay. We have temperance. So a lot of signs are getting this temperance. So there could be a Sagittarius in your life or Sagittarius in your chart. This is about balance, finding balance, being careful about excess, um, especially with emotions, um, with anger. Okay. I'm getting anger right now. Um, someone needs to balance out their anger. Realize like if you're angry about something, I'm sure you probably have every right to be and reason to be, but um, ask yourself, am I staying in this energy too long to the point where it's draining me, okay? Like that person knows I'm angry, they know how I feel. Is it time for me to disengage from that and, and go be happy? Like go do something happy, exercise, or you know, hang out with a friend and like not talk about it, okay? Because like you've talked about it enough. So it's time to disengage from that energy. Um, so that's for some of you, not all of you. Why did I go to these cards? You know what? I meant to clarify, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this anyway. Um, you've got the two of fire, taking steps, taking the next steps, bold and ambitious choices, partnering with others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, continue to move forward. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna put that here. Okay, I don't know why I went to that deck. I meant to uh, clarify with the gilded and then do. Um, the angel wisdom last, but for some reason I just reached for that and that card popped out. So now I'm clarifying the ace of cups, the six of wands and temperance. Whoa. Okay. The death card, major transformation. There could be a Scorpio in your life or strong Scorpio in your chart, major transformation, closing one door and walking through another door, walking through that door. Um, is bringing you to the Ace of Cups, to this abundance, okay? It's making this choice. Um, your life is being transformed in a big way. It's almost like you have a whole new life. Like you still bring you with you, right? You still have your own personality. There are things about you you always bring with you, but it's going to feel like you have a brand new life. And um, this being in the same row here with the, with the two of wands that I just picked, um, this is about taking next steps, okay? And um, bold, ambitious choices, it says. And um, the death card is a major arcana, so the energies are very strong. Okay, so it's like a big, it's a big deal. Okay, and um, partnering with others who share your dreams. Okay, this could be um, in business. Expanding your plans. It says keep moving forward. Okay, it says continue to move forward. And here you're moving forward here, like I was saying a little while ago, like people are saying, let's see what Capricorn can do. Keep moving. Keep moving, keep doing what you're doing. All right, so I'm gonna clarify the Six of Wands and Temperance. Okay. 
clarifying the six of wands oh beautiful the four of cups so there's something coming in there's that offer there's that ace of cups um, there's that offer you might not want to look at or if you are too caught up in your angry energy or you get too caught up in drama you might not even notice this okay so it's important to be very aware there's something good coming in for you. You don't want to miss it. Clarifying temperance, the ace of swords. Same idea. If you get too caught up in angry energy, you might miss something important, an important message, an important offer, um, a clarity, a clarity, a truth coming forth for you. Okay, so the Ace of Cups and the Death card, major transformation with this new offer of abundance in many ways, money, business, career, love, health, happiness, with your family, your pets, okay? Um, this is the beginning though, the Ace of Cups, this is a gift, and this gift comes forth when you make this choice, this like transformative choice to close one door and walk through another one, okay? And it's in the same column here, like I said, with the Two of Wands taking the next steps, okay? So you've made the choice, but the next step to making the choice is taking the next step. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, so let's go over here. Here's your victory, people cheering you on. But there's more, okay? This is only the six of wands. There's You have the six to the 10, right? Um, so there's more to go. People are cheering you on. They're saying, let's see what else you have, Capricorn. And here's um, that ace of cups coming in. This, this card is the four of cups, but look it's this big this big cup of abundance overflowing there's a lot of love here okay so there's love excuse me there's love in the right places for you if you've been hurt recently there is a more genuine love for you it might not be today or tomorrow but it comes when you make this conscious choice to leave situations that are not good for you. It comes with this con conscious choice. Like it comes in time with this conscious choice to look at different offers, look at different opportunities. Um, don't get caught up in drama so you don't miss this. See, the person on this card is kind of like, huh, what? What's going on? Like this hand is coming out of the sky. Is that a hand? Like, what is that? And um, yes, this is for you. There's an opportunity for you, Capricorn. You don't want to miss it okay and here's this clarity and here it comes again i'm getting another opportunity maybe there's more than one the ace of swords is victory okay and we got victory with the six of wands too there's a victory here clarity a truth there's one big truth with the ace of swords there's one big truth coming forward but with that more little truths fall into place and start to make sense Get out of the anger energy. Temperance isn't always about anger, okay? I'm just picking up on that right now. It is very okay to be angry if you have been um, not treated right, Capricorn, um, in you know, one way or another, if you've been stabbed in the back. Um, you have every right to be angry, but it's time to balance that out, okay? Balance that out with um, good things in life, reaching for good things in life, being open to truths coming forward, truths that you can't ignore, okay? It's that clear. Look at that sword. It's shiny. The clouds are clearing. See, the sun is reflecting off of the clouds in different areas, okay? It's right in your face. You don't want to miss it if you're caught up in drama, or, um, you know, unhealthy behaviors, right? Like, you know, junk food or not exercising or whatever that can make our brains foggy, right? Um, there's really good things here for you. Oh, look, here's your awakening. I love it. So this is equivalent to the hanged man in the traditional tar tarot. A temporary pause for reflection and insight. An awakening where you see things in a whole new light. See, there's the truth, seeing things in a whole new light. And that's part of this gift coming in. Embrace your own uniqueness. And it says charitable actions, okay? What does that mean to you? Okay, seeing things in a whole new light, look. So you have this victory, but that victory with the Six of Wands is not the end of the line. There's more, there's more. We see with that, that cup there and the Four of Cups card. This brings balance and stability. It's time to see things in this new light and consider it, look at it. What can you do with this? Okay, oh my God, I love this major abundance, 10 of earth or the 10 of pentacles. Jophiel is the archangel. Financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree. 
and passing on knowledge. Beautiful. Some of you listening, you could be buying a house. You could be moving to a new house um, where it's more harmonious. Another sign just got that. Um, you could be like, you might not be buying a house, but you could be moving to a neighborhood or a new place that's more harmonious. It's not as chaotic. There's like a better energy there. Um, this could be about unexpected money too. Um, it could be due to your efforts, but you're not expecting to see success coming so quickly. Um, the important thing to remember right now, Sagittari Sagittarius, I'm sorry, um, Capricorn, is that this is not the end of the line. Like you have maybe like reached a big um, success, but there's more to go. There's more to go. Like this is not the end of the line, all right? It's all about your choices about closing that door on the past, knowing when it's time to close that door and walk through the next one, okay? Seeing things from a different perspective, considering this offer, I keep going back to this card, considering this offer and being aware that there is one there, okay? And that's by staying away from like toxic situations, people, behaviors, right? Because there's this beautiful stuff that wants to come in for you, success, and you like you really have a team, like you have a spiritual team and maybe some friends around you too who are wanting to see you happy and they're cheering you on, okay? Um, if you are not surrounded by tons of friends right now or if you don't have a close family or anything like that, know that your spirit team is here and cheering you on um, tune into them. Be, don't be afraid to ask for guide, guidance and protection. Call on St. Michael too. St. Michael's popping into these readings for me a lot today. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.